That was almost like the perfect commercial coming into this fire segment. Topical. Very topical. So today in the digest, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, fire safety and stuff that you can share with your kids. Now, I know, uh, you know, we we talk fire safety all the time, oh, but yeah. uh, there's just always uh, fires happening around us. And, and specifically in Fitchburg, there mm -hmm. seems to be a lot. This is my own opinion from okay. what I've gathered is there's a lot of kitchen fires in Fitchburg. Sure. A lot of smoke alarm, you know, smoke coming from the kitchen, whatever, sets off the alarm and... Seems like a logical place for potential fire. Mm -hmm. So, makes sense. So, anyways, uh, saying that, we're focusing on your uh, kids today in fire safety. So, uh, we're pulling these again from uh, kidssafety.org. So, uh, if you want to find out any more information, that's where we're gathering these facts. So, we start with home fires can start and spread quickly, which is why we all need to be careful and educate when it comes to fire safety. Uh, and a little bit of just about planning planning and can make a really big difference when it mm -hmm. comes to that emergency uh, scenario. As you, we've talked about it here on the show with all of our public safety, what's the one thing that they all do together? Training, training, training. And that's why they're planned. So when an emergency happens, that's right. you can go with the plan and it can make things a lot, a lot smoother. So also uh, working smoke alarms reduces the chance of dying in a fire by nearly 50%, 50% by just having that smoke alarm in there. Yep. Uh, so that that in itself is awesome. Here's some uh, statistics for you. The hard facts, as they say. Yeah. In 2013, 334 children died uh, in home fires. 87% of all fire-related deaths are due to home fires, which spread rapidly and can leave families as little as two minutes to escape once an alarm sounds. I think it was uh, Adam Dorn who said it used to be, what, four to six minutes, and now it's right. two minutes or under. Uh, for getting out of the house uh, yep. just because of the way uh, houses are made now these days. Right. Just All the materials, the gases. Mm -hmm. The gases. So, uh, yeah, that's that's crazy to sit, uh, statistic there. Fires are not just a problem in the United States. In 2008, nearly 61,000 children around the world died due to fire or burn. So uh, it's a worldwide thing. Yeah, absolutely. So let's take a look at some of the top tips some as tips. they were to stay safe. Preston. All right, let's look at some of these here. And it looks like the first top tip is working smoke alarms reduce the chance of dying in a fire by nearly 50%, as we mentioned. There are critical first steps for staying safe, but in order to be effective, they must be working properly. For the best protection, install smoke alarms on every level of your home and in every sleeping area. Teach kids to never play with matches and lighters. Make a habit of placing these types of items up and away from younger children. Create and practice a home fire escape plan with two ways out of every room in case of a fire. Get a stopwatch and time how fast your family can escape. They say here, kids will love that. It's a, it's kind of a fun way for them to still learn and practice these things if you make it kind of a, a trial, a mm -hmm, test trial. Mm -hmm. uh, children should know how to respond to the sound of a smoke alarm. Teach them how to get uh, low and get out uh, of the home when they hear it. A uh, child who is coached properly ahead of time will have a better chance uh, at reaching safety. And then again, use common sense in the kitchen. Limit distractions when cooking and don't leave a hot or uh, oven on or stovetop unattended. Uh, blow out candles before you leave each room. Um, you know, and especially if you're going to go to sleep, make sure all the candles and things are blown out. So those are some easy tips uh, to help keep you safe. So one campaign that we learned about uh, last year in Fire Safety Week uh, was Hear the Beep Where You Sleep. And so we've got that uh, poster here. Uh, again, uh, kind of a team up of safekids.org, uh, uh, the NFPA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like this one because a lot of the time we do, you know, I don't know. We should have pulled that sort of the statistic on that of night fires versus day if you're sure. awake versus sleeping. Um, I'm sure it can be uh, costly there if you don't have that plan. But every bedroom needs a working smoke alarm. Uh, as you know, every room now in state law, you're supposed to have a smoke alarm installed. Uh, make sure that, uh, oh. There's your staff. <laughs> I didn't even see it. It's in the corner. Half of home fire deaths happen between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. when most people are sleeping. There you go. 
that is the fact right there. But you know, test out those alarms. That's huge. You gotta test mm -hmm. them out. And something that I think is now we're starting to hear this, you know, we finally have got maybe, I mean, we can always use education on testing, but replacing the fire or your smoke alarm every 10 years, right. that's crucial. It is. And that's something that's not always talked about. So uh, definitely something that you can do uh, to take steps. And the fire and smoke alarms have gotten a lot better right yeah. uh, and more are detecting even more uh, besides smoke you can get like explosive ones that detect um, explosive material and and of course your carbon monoxide detector all in right. one type of thing and again uh, that plan I can't tell you that enough the plan the plan the plan that plan is key and make sure that everybody can hear the smoke alarm so uh, you know when you're doing your test try and uh, Stand sure. in different areas of the home, make sure you can hear it. And like the graphic shows, you know, make sure again, every level on every sleeping area, you have those smoke detectors. And of course, get out of the house first and then call 911. <laughs> and like right. that, that should be in that order, you know, get out, get to a safe place. And you know, if you have to go to your neighbor, whatever. Does that sound right, Bamlet? You're the firefighter yes, here. Get out and safe and then call 911. You are more important than your house. There, there you, you go. go. Very good note to end on, I believe. I agree. That is uh, the Fitchburg Digest. Coming up next, we're gonna head out to the Fitchburg Fire Department uh, where they're gonna take us on a little tour, uh, plus uh, tell you a little bit about uh, fire safety. Stay tuned, that's next right here on Talking Fitchburg.